it has a lot to offer. Several days prior, I acquired one vial of Bromo Dragonfly, which was diluted in ethanol, Everclear. The source was a friend of a close friend, a university student from San Diego, who was very well versed on RCs. He explained how he purchased the chemical, which he had previously purchased the same amount from the same distributor, and diluted it the same way as which I was buying. He claimed the dose would measure roughly 75 units of measurement per drop of liquid. He also said that he knew about the two separate batches of Bromo Dragonfly produced several years back, where the American batch was not as potent per weight as the European batch, but since that was several years prior, he didn't want to state which batch this was. But this batch of Bromo Dragonfly had the R isomer, which made it potent by weight. I know what I feel is enough to be confident in the idea of the variations of phenethylamines, but I do not understand why this R isomer makes this more potent. I dropped 9 drops at 75 UGs, which I believe equals to 675 UGs at 6 p.m. I was in a social setting and wasn't inspecting much for a while. My buddy dropped roughly the same amount and was drinking beer. Within an hour or two, I can definitely tell that I had taken a psychedelic. My friend redosed five more drops around this time. At approximately 9 p.m., I left the party. I was feeling weird, sort of speedy with some minor trippiness. I wasn't sure if it would progress. By 11 p.m., I was experiencing pretty wild visuals. It was much richer than the wonderful LSD, which I regularly consume out here on the West Coast, but I felt that there wasn't the God space which I attain when I see visuals like that off of any other favorite psychedelic. I found the same issue when I had two experiences with high doses of 2CB in the past. It was visually very impressive, but the clarity of mind made me almost feel like something was missing. By 1am, things are very funny. I never made it back out into the night to be social, instead I parked in front of the television and watched cartoons like The Simpsons, which were visually amazing and very light and funny. I keep drifting between being unsure about this chemical and finding a psychedelic sort of like a MDMA mind space. By 4am I tried to lay down, but the room was exploding with colors. It was nice to be in bed, but sleep was not going to be found. So I got comfy and observed the darkness. The visuals I can only compare to 35 milligrams of 2CB. This trip lasted a real long time. I'm typing this at 8 p.m. 26 hours after dosing and I'm feeling somewhat back to baseline. I have not slept whatsoever but I was able to eat a full sub sandwich around 5 p.m. which made me feel much better. It surprised me I was able to eat while tripping that hard. I tend to not like taking LSD in the daytime because I feel it's more visually rich during the nighttime, but Bromo Dragonfly would be a great substance to take a long day in nature or possibly a musical festival. It's a very, very visual. I dosed on the lower end of what my supplier recommended to begin with. This may mean that the solution is not as strong as he was expecting or that possibly this isn't the stronger R isomer because I would assume 675 UGs would be more potent on the dosage scale, although this was a rather visually intense trip for anyone not experienced with psychedelics. My friend had redosed at roughly 9. I was worried about this after separating due to how hard I was tripping, even though I myself didn't redose. When I spoke with him the following day at 5 p.m., I was definitely still tripping, and he said he really didn't get much out of Bromo Dragonfly, and he dropped his doses out of the same batch and significantly dosed more. Although he was drinking a lot of beer, and also he took a very fair amount of LSD in the weeks slash days prior to his Bromo Dragonfly experience, which may have resulted in this difference in our experiences. I did however ingest a fair amount of LSD the evening prior, and it appeared to have little effect on my Bromo trip. I was also smoking hash oil slash marijuana throughout the whole experience, which I feel helped tone down the mild to moderate jitter I was occasionally experiencing, especially when the psychedelic effects first manifested. I will definitely try this chemical again, I feel it has a lot to offer, although I also feel it should be regarded very carefully after the gnarly overdoses which have happened. 
I know several were due to mislabeling, which happened during fall of 2009. From what I understand, a majority of the other health issues associated with Bromo Dragonfly have been the results of larger overdoses. Simply not measuring properly or having mislabeled chemicals was to blame for a majority of the horror stories I have read. What I didn't understand prior to consuming this chemical was that it is very closely related to the DOX substituted amphetamines. I guess Bromo Dragonfly is more closely related to DOB than it is to the two C's. I hope this experience shed some light on this somewhat unknown psychedelic. I will write another experience when I choose to experiment again with Bromo Dragonfly.